Did you know that you can train your brain to think more creatively, just like you train your muscles at the gym? Creative thinking is a crucial skill that involves looking at things in new ways, finding unconventional solutions to problems, and generating innovative ideas. This ability is essential not just for artists or writers, but for anyone who wants to improve their everyday problem-solving and decision-making skills. So why is creative thinking so important? In our fast-paced world, thinking outside the box can set you apart in your career, help you overcome personal challenges, and even enhance your relationships. In today's video, we'll explore several techniques that can help develop your creative thinking skills. First, let's delve into some fascinating theories that help explain different aspects of creativity. Understanding these theories can expand your knowledge and provide deep insights into your creative process. The psychoanalytical theory of creativity, originally proposed by Sigmund Freud, suggests that creativity is a form of expression for our unconscious desires and conflicts. Freud believed that artistic creativity is an outlet for repressed impulses. For instance, a painter might use colors and forms to express complex emotions they can't articulate in words. Understanding this theory can help you tap into your deeper feelings and thoughts, using creativity to express your subconscious mind. It encourages looking inward and might explain why activities like painting or writing feel therapeutic. Moving on to the humanistic theory, which is largely based on the works of Abraham Maslow and Carl Rogers, this approach sees creativity as a means of self-actualization. It emphasizes expressing one's unique capabilities and sees creativity as a fulfillment of potential. This theory can inspire you to use creativity as a path to personal growth. It suggests that embracing your unique perspective and experiences can lead to innovative ideas and works. Developed by Robert Sternberg, the triarchic theory of human intelligence presents creativity as just one aspect of intelligence, alongside analytical and practical abilities. Sternberg believes that creative intelligence involves insight, innovation, and the ability to think in novel ways. By embracing this theory, you can work on integrating creativity with other forms of intelligence. For example, you might combine creative thinking with analytical skills to solve complex problems or use practical skills to bring an innovative idea to life. Lastly, Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences theory proposes that people have different kinds of intelligence, such as linguistic, logical mathematical, spatial, and more. Gardner includes an existential intelligence as a possible area involving sensitivity and capacity to tackle deep questions about human existence. This theory encourages you to explore creativity through different modalities. Whether it's through words, numbers, images, or even physical movement, understanding your strengths can help you find your most natural creative expression. Exploring these theories gives us a richer understanding of creativity. Each theory offers a unique perspective on what drives us to create and how to harness our creative energies more effectively. Next, let's talk about reframing your perspective, which is critical in adjusting your mind to look at problems and situations from different angles. It's a fundamental skill that can transform obstacles into opportunities and failures into lessons. First, let's talk about why reframing your perspective is crucial. When we face a problem, we typically view it through a lens shaped by our experiences, beliefs, and current emotions. This can severely limit our problem-solving abilities. By consciously changing our perspective, we open ourselves to new ideas and unexpected solutions. It's not just about solving problems, it's about transforming how we approach challenges in every aspect of our lives. Start by asking yourself challenging questions like, what if I viewed this as an opportunity? Or, what's another way to look at this problem? These questions can pivot your thinking and open up new creative pathways. Next, try playing devil's advocate. Taking a position opposite to your own can expose you to insights you might have dismissed or overlooked. Also, try using analogies. Comparing your problem to something completely unrelated can reveal surprising connections and solutions. Our next method to develop your creative thinking involves reconceptualizing problems. Reconceptualizing a problem involves taking a step back from the immediate issue and questioning your basic assumptions about it. This method can lead to more innovative solutions because it shifts your focus from the symptoms of the problem to its root cause or broader context. To start reconceptualizing problems, you can use these techniques. Ask why five times. This technique involves asking why multiple times to get to the root of the problem. Another technique is considering different perspectives. Think about the problem from the various points of view of different factors or people involved. 
This can lead to different creative solutions that might be more effective. Reconceptualizing problems is about understanding them more deeply and broadly. This approach can lead to more sustainable and innovative solutions, helping you not only solve the problem but also transform the situation entirely. If you find value in this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you found the discussions enlightening and that they've inspired you to look at creativity in new and exciting ways. Keep exploring, stay curious, and keep pushing the boundaries of your creativity. Until next time, keep creating and stay inspired.